Canopy's coming down. Picture off the left. On flight service frequencies. GTS approaches in east, landing the party in runway 17. Notice the airman, runway 35 left and 35 right, Pappy's out of service. Caution for crane, operating approximately one mile southwest of the field, 150 feet AGL. Advise on initial contact, give information Romeo. Anderson ground, extra 21 X ray tango, single extra westbound. Tango, holding short 17 right, westbound. Extra 2 on X-ray Tango, Anderson Tower right, turn out to the west, approved, runway 17 right, cleared for takeoff. 17 right, cleared for takeoff, westbound, approved, 2 on X-ray Tango. So you can take the airplane. Alright, Michael. Probably get some ridge turbulence as we go. We're going to essentially go uh, right over that little triangle peak in front of us. Funny, your Red Rock's always socked in and the valley's usually clear, so it's kind of weird. We'll clear this ridge here, and then uh, once we clear that, we're uh, cleared up to 4,500. All right, turn me about uh, 20 degrees right. We climb up to 4,900 now. Just about to clear the spare space in about another mile. The uh, pipeline underneath our wings here is pretty much the edge, uh, the corner of the uh, 5,000 foot airspace. So, uh, so we're clear now, so you can go up to 6,500. Turn me like 45 left, we're going to kind of work uh, this area over the highway, relatively. Alright, cool. I got the uh, controls back. Alright, are you ready to go upside down? Yes. Wait, do a little strap check here. Uh, yep, seatbelt works, everything's in the green. Good to go. For the basic roll, bring the nose up about 20 degrees, relax the stick, and then straight left. I like a light grip on the stick because it allows you to be uh, more precise. Alright, you got the controls. And now it's up and roll it. So you're pulling up slightly throughout the roll. So really try and neutralize it before you do it. Go ahead and do one more and then we'll turn. Yeah, much better. Alright, give me like 90 left. And uh, anywhere in this direction, you can pull the nose up and uh, roll again. neutral pitch on that one, so that was good. Alright, I got her back. We're going to bring the nose way up. And then we're going to drag diagonal, kind of towards your hip. That's going to pull us around through the barrel roll. Now we'll 
Having a 180, so we're not up in the clouds. You got the controls? I like those. Alright, so now it's way up. Okay, right now? Uh, yep, you can go in. And then towards your hip. So diagonal with the stick. Alright, so we're just going to bring the nose down a little rudder. Just get a little speed and you can pull back level. That's good. After we bring the nose up, you need to start dragging the uh, uh, stick diagonal towards your left hip. And that'll make it that barrel roll. Gotcha. Yep, there you go. Now go diagonal. Good, pulling and rolling. There you go, that one corkscrews. Oh. Alright, I'm just going to have you fly the loop, so dive down to 150. Smooth pull straight back. There's your 150. Good. Just hold that. It's about four G's. Ease off at the top. And now start your pull again. At the top you get slow. You don't want to reach that critical angle. Good. Get cleared for another loop if you want it. off just a bit. Still pulling slightly. There you go. Oh. Alright, I got her back. Alright, next one we're going to do is the hammerhead. So we're going to go into a vertical and uh, we'll set the pitch there on the vertical line and then we'll come back down. So we're going straight up. Now we look at our left wing. Kind of hard to see, but we set the vertical there. Go up. Left rudder at the top. Get a little speed. And then you get to pick your pole on the way out. So you've got the controls. First, get your vertical as straight as possible. We'll do a couple. So first one, we'll just do a vertical up, and then we'll pivot. Next one, we can do the vertical roll. Good. That looks really good. Go forward, just waiting. All right, left rudder, left rudder. All the way in, good. And neutral. Good. Coming back out. Okay, so this one we're going to set the vertical line and uh, neutralize pitch and then you can do a roll and then we'll stop and pivot, okay? Okay. And you're clear. Good, coming up. Keep coming, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop right there, you can roll if you want to. Good, now stop. And right rudder this time, sorry. Got a little bit of cone. How are you feeling so far? You doing good? Yeah. Alright, cool. I got her back. Alright, we're coming straight up again. Really want to set that vertical. Right there it is. These are torque rolls. Smoke comes on, power comes back. You got the controls, give me one second. Uh, I'm showing traffic to our north, so we're gonna make a turn here. Oh, 
lot of nothing out of this corner. Right. Okay, you have the controls. Uh, straight vertical. Good, keep going, keep going. A little bit more, 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 more. Stop right there. Roll if you want to. Good, hold it in. Now hold on tight. We're going to start to slide. Good. demonstrate some of the crazy stuff, um, like the front flips and the tumbles. Okay. So I recommend looking out the uh, front for this and uh, don't grab the stick on this one. Okay? Alright, first one is uh, called a Dink by Wayne Hanley. So this one's going to be a runner wag. That's a one turn tumble. And then the Blum Shavak. We're gonna come up. 30 degrees up. Left knife edge. And back upright. That's the Lum Shavak. Pretty crazy, right? <laughs> into the valley. We're going to rip around back this way. Alright, still feeling good? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to show you a couple of different kinds of tumbles here. Uh, this one's uh, called a shoulder roll. Comes up opposite. And it's a right to right entry. A little bit more negative on that. You want to see inverted, upright, knife edge? Anything, whatever. Alright, cool. We'll take it into a vertical tumble, and then we'll end out in a inverted flat spin. Knife edge on the way up, transitioning to the inverted flat. There. We're fully developed. Inverted flat spin.
<laughs> That's a solid eight. <laughs> more stuff as we head home. Little knife edge flight. We can flip it. Pretty cool, right? Oh my god. World's best toy. back home. Excellent job. That was fun. So how long did it take to get used to pulling eight G's and not black it out? Um, you know, I had a pretty decent G tolerance when I started, but, uh, you know, when you go through training, we got to hold nine G's for, uh, seven or eight seconds, um, but uh, I've never actually G-locked, uh, but you know, I mean, you can see the onset coming, but uh, you know, you get built, you built to use it, the thing about it is staying current with it, you know, and uh, just, you know, building your G-strain really helps, obviously. ECL, advise on initial contact, your information, Sierra. Over the hill. Extra two on a tray tango, seven miles west, three thousand five hundred, full stop Sierra. Anderson Tower, proceed to a right base for runway 17 right. Uh, runway 17 right, cleared to land. 17 right, cleared to land via the right base. 200 crew, take go. <laughs> not, not that bad out today. Our normal area is southeast, kind of over the ridge, but it's kind of bullshit over there today, but. Gene looks good still. Oh yeah, thanks! Yeah, you're very welcome. Happy birthday. Thank you. Number 329 Hotel Sierra Anderson Tower Rudder, enter a left downwind for runway 17 right. Number 2 behind an extra on a 3 mile right base. Runway 17 right, cleared to land. Left downwind, 17 right, cleared to land. Number 2. Uh, What a fun plane. Yeah, for sure. Extra 2 and extra tango, turn right at Delta, contact ground 127.8. Alpha Delta, contact ground 2 and extra tango. Anderson ground, extra 2 and extra tango, clear at Delta. Extra two, extra ten, go to the ground. You can taxi straight to the ramp or Alpha Echo. Your discretion. Have a good day. All right, Delta Parking. Good day. One, extra ten, go. Yeah, there's only one airplane I've flown that's more fun than this, and it's the Game Bird GB1. Oh yeah. Yeah. They that's make them out in uh, Arkansas. Uh huh. And 
it's uh, essentially the same relative design, uh, but it, it, it came from the Extreme Air, and uh, it's a uh, 205 knot cruise, but wow. uh, still unlimited uh, plus or minus 10 Gs. Wow. A little bit lighter. Uh, G3X front and back. Things a freaking speed machine. That's awesome. Yeah, I was working with the factory to help train some pilots, and my buddy bought one. Took about 55 hours in them or something. Are they like comfortable price to this? Uh, yeah. Uh, just uh, about 425 grand. Yeah. But in terms of the the cruise performance, I mean, these cruise about 170, 175 knots. The Game Bird is 205. Wow. Crazy. Like a unlimited aerobatic F1 rocket. It's literally a rocket ship. That's crazy. Yeah.